What's up guys, this is a damage calculator I made and so far it's pretty accurate and so I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it and how to make your own. So first, let's say um, we want to see how much damage Heatran does to Melotic. So Heatran has, is level 100 and his attack stat maxes out at 394 so we're going to say this is a modest uh, Heatran. And it'll be using the move Lava Plume which has 80 power. And Melotic's defense stat maxes out at 383. Um, and so Heatran will be receiving stabs since it is the same uh, type. Um, and it is going to be not very effective. And we'll say it's in the sun uh, just to fully uh, experiment with this. So he's going to get a 1.5 boost from that. And so now you can see the damage that it will be doing. And if you put in the health, which Melotic's health maxes out at 394, so then you can see the uh, KOs it will be doing. And so since you can't um, attack 0.7 of a time, uh, it's going to have to round up. So you know you're going to have to attack six times to KO, six times to KO. And then if you get maximum damage, uh, all five hits, you can KO in five hits. As long as they don't have leftovers or uh, any way of restoring their health uh, that way. Um, so anyway, let's say we have uh, Melotic, and Melotic is our, our Pokemon. Uh, and we want to see uh, this uh, just happened, all this. And we want to basically just test out Heatran's uh, stat and see what it is. So um, we're going to say Heatran's level 100. And we'll say he just did 74 damage. Uh, so we'll put in 74. And the attack power of Lava Plume is 80. And we know our defense stat is 383. And we know he got stab. And we know it was not very effective. And it was in the sun, so he got a boost from that. And so now we can see um, what his attack stat could possibly be. And we do know that it maxes out at 394, so that it actually can't go all the way up there. Um, but the reason uh, that it goes this high is um, if he had done minimum damage, then and it still did 74 damage, then that would mean his attack stat would have to be this high. Um, so because his attack stat doesn't go this high, we know for one that he didn't do minimum damage. But... Um, I don't know. If you didn't really understand that, I don't really know how to explain it any better. But basically, if you do see his attack stat is higher than it could be or lower than it could be, you're just going to have to know that it caps off uh, wherever that may be. So um, the same thing does happen with defense, too. So you also have to know that. But let's say um, we're using Heatran. And we just used Lava Plume, so we're going to say he trans level 100, his attack stat is 394, his Lava Plume does 80 damage, and it did 74 damage, it has 80 power, it did 74 damage. Um, and it gets a stab boost, and it is not very effective, and the weather boosted it. So now that we just attacked and it did 74 damage, we can see a range um, that... Melotic's defense could be, and again, we know it uh, caps off at 383, but uh, again, you're just going to have to know that yourself. So basically, this can be um, really helpful in battle if uh, against Pokemon, especially like Heatran, because uh, Heatran has multiple different sets. So if you have out a Melotic, for instance, and you see that it does this much damage, you're going to be able to look and see um, that this Heatran is heavily invested in its uh, special attack, and that could help you know that it's not as defensive. And um, this might be something that's overlooked because, again, if you switch Melotic in on a Heatran, um, if you see that it does 74 damage, that is not a lot since Melotic nearly maxes out at uh, 400. So that is a good way to really, really tell, uh, help you predict their sets and whatnot. Okay, so anyway, uh, to make a to make this damage calculator, uh, first you're just going to um, type in 
all these, uh, all these, just type in all these. Um, I missed them. How did I miss these? <laughs> anyway, um, type in all of these and um, all of these. And so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to put in a formula for all of these. Uh, these 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These aren't really necessary because, I mean, you can probably do that math in your head, but um, these seven are the big ones. And so uh, the formula for these, um, it's right here. I can put uh, the formulas in the description. And so then all you do is you would type in these. Then right here you'd go in and you'd type or copy and paste the formula right there. Um, or you can type it in here, I believe. Um, but yeah, so you'll do that for each one of these. I'll leave the formulas in the description. So uh, have fun. Use this um, calculator to your advantage, I guess. Uh, tell me if you see any problems with it. Uh, I don't know. It seemed pretty reliable to me so far. Uh, the damage it's been doing is pretty accurate. Um, anyway, see you guys later. Uh, enjoy. Bye.